everyone again to RTV, your TV, I am one, and we have a rush from the IMC Academy. Today we are going to be uh, working with self-defense techniques. And what is RTV, your TV? RTV, your TV is the all-member show produced here at Create TV. Today, Arash is going to have uh, self-defense techniques. So, what are you going to do today? Well, I thought we'd cover some basic self-defense techniques. Uh, a lot of times, people with the new ultimate fighting craze that's happening, people think that you have to be fighting in the ring for years and years and years so you can defend yourself. However, it's not true. Uh, the techniques I'm going to go over today are basic women's self-defense techniques. You know, you could be a 100-pound girl defending yourself against a 300-pound guy. It's not going to be easy, but it's possible. So I'm going to show some basic techniques that work on the human anatomy and uh, the psychology of d defending yourself. And that's the basic of it today. Nice. All right. So we have a lovely model here today uh, that's going to be working on the moves with you. Our lovely model, Janelle Felton. All right. Hello, Thank Janelle. You. Hello. Thank you for yeah. coming. Hello. Thank you for Hi, the little pit pat. Okay. <laughs> So uh, this is Janelle, she's going to be helping us out. You can find Janelle, by the way, on the new um, music video by royalty called Brown Eye Girl. All right, so check that out. So, uh, we're, so like you said, we're going to be going over some self-defense techniques. Because, you know, women, and not only women, but men need to know how to be able to defend themselves. Especially girls, though, especially lovely ladies like Janelle, who are coming out of a club or, sure. say, you know, coming out of a situation. Because, you sure. know, there's a lot of, you know, jerk guys out there that are just trying to do what they're going to do, you know. Take douchebags. Yeah. You know, you took the words right out of my That's mouth. That's right, douchebags. Exactly. All right, so let's go ahead and let's start Let's get started. Up. So the basic idea is... Uh, let's start with the basic idea that sometimes women will get grabbed like this. Okay. This does happen to girls. It doesn't happen to guys very often. A guy doesn't go up to another guy and say, dude, what's up, and grab his hand. You know what I mean? Yeah, no. But girls, let's say you're on a, a date or uh, you know, you're going out with a guy. He might grab you and look at you and say, listen, calm down or, or squeeze you. This does happen to women. Yeah. And one of the things that, that uh, people, they start to respond to the grab, which is incorrect, mm -hmm. meaning... If she, uh, let's say she grabs me, right? We could do a lot of fancy stuff and try to struggle. However, right. this is incorrect. Here's what you do. I'm going to grab her. Now, she has no idea what we're going to go over. True? Okay. True. We just met, right? We just <laughs> no, met. I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> but she has no idea what we're going to go over. So when someone grabs, the basic idea is you're going to open your other hand. That's right. Keep your fingers together. And she's going to smash very slowly right now. <laughs> you're going to smash into the nose. If the guy is tall. Uh-huh much taller, you smash into the chin, okay. okay? Now, the basic idea is if he's got his attention, he's saying, let's down, or don't talk to my daughter, come with me. She takes a hand, as hard as she can, and smashes into the nose. The yeah. reaction is gonna be this. No one's gonna hold on and go, oh, yeah, yeah, what the hell, you know what I mean? So, yeah. so, you, so you were successful in taking care of what you needed to do. So let's watch that again. Okay, so any kind of, let's start with this. Okay. He grabs her wrist, she strikes, boom, right? Mm -hmm. At that point she can turn and run or do whatever. But what if, what if he grabs this way, which is a cross grab? Same thing, nice. doesn't matter. Nice. What if he grabs her shirt? Same thing, this does happen to guys. Guys will grab guys by the shirt yeah. and start pushing them back. You smash into their nose or you smash into their jaw as hard as you can with the palm. Again, if you make a fist, you're going to be hurting your, your hand. Yeah. Right? This happens to fighters all the time. That's why they tape it up, put gloves. But with the palm of the hand, you can easily hit into the nose. Slow down, man. <laughs> Jeez. You can slowly hit the nose slowly right now or the, or the chin. Yeah. All right? And it doesn't matter how, even if he grabs both hands into one, come with me, boom, she strikes, okay? Nice. That's the first one. Okay. All right, let's go to the second one. Same, same principle. What if he grabs both hands? Okay. This could happen because he's holding her down like this, that aggressive energy, Yeah. right? It's the same thing. Instead of worrying about the grab, right. all she does is she opens her, her arms slightly, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, as you do that, go ahead. And she drives her knee very slowly, uh, right now, very slowly, drives her knee into the groin. Go. Uh, that would be your knee. Oh, knee. This would be my groin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's well, do that again. Now we're getting martial arts, but we're getting anatomy. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. So, let's, so let's check that out again. Watch again, right? The grab happens here. Okay. You open slowly. Okay. Ooh. Now, this is the misconception that happens all the time. You see how she did that? Go again, go slow. Okay. In the groin. That's not the groin. No. Lower. Oh. that's the difference. You uh, get the difference? So a lot of times, people don't understand. The groin shots, you have to go low. Yeah. Right? And you're going to drive it straight up into his, uh, his bone. <laughs> bone. Jules. Okay, yes. It's Jules. Jules. So watch. Okay. The grab happens. She opens it. Boom. That's it. That was good to even back. One more time. Now, it doesn't end with one. No. He might reaction 
turn his body, yeah, right? Okay, so, okay, so he and if he does, she drives that right, no, 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 right oh. into the thigh. It's a Charlie horse. Oh, you got a Charlie horse right there. I mean, you you have somebody who's got adrenaline, yeah, right? There's right. a lot of adrenaline. She's kneeing as hard as she can. Not once, not twice, but it's many times it takes. So let's go slowly through this, right? You knee, go, boom, and again, knee, knee. And at some point, this is going to be the reaction. Yeah. And he's gone, she's gone, right? Right. So anytime, here's the basic rule that you can learn. Anytime someone grabs any of your body parts, you strike into the most vital areas, that being the nose, the throat, the groin, okay? So in this case, now we're gonna combine. If I grab one hand, she could either strike like she did, or she could knee, okay? Use the other leg now, yeah. whichever, yeah. She could do both, Yeah. right? Grab here, again, you have an option. You could go there, or you could go knee, or you could do both, doesn't matter. If I grab both hands, and you have no hands, you do the same thing, boom, nice. boom. You get that? Yeah, so, go ahead. So ideally, it's not really getting, getting, um, like you said, not getting their hands off of your no. hands. It's inflicting the pain. That's right. So that they can change their, their they're going to change their mindset. Yeah. When you pop them in their nose, they're, they're going to let go because yeah. they're caring about their nose. And when you definitely pop us here, we're done. It's over. It's over. Okay. So that's the basic idea. It's not to worry about the attack they're giving you. It's to give them something bigger because they're grabbing. That means if I'm, if I'm grabbing her, she doesn't have to worry about this hand any longer punching her. Mm -hmm. This is good. She wants that. Mm -hmm. If I'm here, she doesn't have to worry about any of this. Now, as a girl, it would be worse to get knocked out first, then the guy attacks her, yeah. right? right? But if he's going to grab her, that's great. She doesn't have to worry about this anymore. And he's, yeah, he's chaining himself to her. And now she's going to do a lot of damage, okay? The main target being the groin, the throat, and the nose, and the eyes we're going to get into in a second, too. Okay. Okay? So those are all, those soft, those areas are definitely areas that you want to strike. You want to strike them hard, and you want to knock the person out. Yeah. Get them confused. And it doesn't hurt her. Her knee into the groin doesn't hurt her. Yeah, because our knees and our elbows are really strong. Right? That's right. So the old, uh, the old principle is the, the harder weapon to the softer target. Oh, okay? Interesting. Because of that reason, if you use your knee, you could do a lot of damage to another body part because the knee is, uh, has a, a big mass behind it compared to the little parts on the body, right? Mm -hmm. You can use your palm into the nose because the palm is harder and soft, the nose is softer than the palm, right? right? A fist into the skull is incorrect because it's more dense, smaller bones. Right. You get that? Right. Okay, good. So let's go over one more, one more thing here. Mm -hmm. What happens is uh, if somebody like grabs you from the back, yes. okay? okay well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna demonstrate first on camera. So. The person grabs you from the back. Mm -hmm. All these, of course, they have to be practiced because the main part of it is the psychology, right? right. You're gonna freak out. But with practice, with training, you increase your chance of survival. Okay, so you go stand right here, turn that way. Okay, so if someone's grabbing you from the back like this, and it could happen. Mm -hmm. Of course. Yeah, the physics of it is their body is gonna be facing you. Okay, right. now move over one second, please. No one's gonna grab you like this. No. Right, their body is this way. Yeah. So knowing that, all you do is you move your hips to the side slightly. You can practice this because you've never done it, right? Move your hips to the side slightly. Now it exposes the groin. You could strike the groin. Oh. You could grab. You could do all kinds of things to the groin at that point, okay? That's a start. And so that's it just, just goes slow. That's just a simple... It's a simple it's start a to the move. technique. It's a dance move. <laughs> it is. Swarm. <laughs> there you go. So not only... Cut. Can you... I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so not, only... Okay. not only can you defend yourself, but you can dance. Too. You can da okay. Okay, right, okay so, so watch. So just naturally, where my body is, move your hips to the side. Good. That exposes the groin. If you reach back, you strike, that's the groin. You get it? Mm -hmm. That's the start of it. Right. Excuse me, I just spit on you. Okay, watch again. Not on you. You move, strike. In the meantime, there's a few other things she'll do. She'll lift up her foot, using her heel, start to stomp on my toes. Okay. This is a simultaneous action. It's like this. You move, strike, and stomp, right? The guy has to now be concerned about his well-being. As the grab happens, she moves her hips, strikes, starts stomping. This is what's happening to him. Right. One of those is going to hit hard, or at least it's loosening this up, yes. right? The next part is she drives, depending how tall the guy is, but irrelevant right now. She'll just bring her head straight back. Oh. His head may be higher, may be lower, but move over one second. But again, for the physics of the situation, he's behind her. So strike, strike, and just bring the head back. If he's there, he's there. He'll get something in his face. Right. If not, that's okay. She'll know he's not there. Then she's going to turn, kick, and run that run. way. Run. Okay, so let's go slow. 